Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect or how to sync your WooCommerce products with Square in 2023. So if you're just starting your e-commerce business or you're experienced or doing that and you just want to sync your uh, WooCommerce like products to Square, you are in the right place. Okay, today, we're going to explore how to seamlessly sync your WooCommerce product with Square, which is a versatile payment platform. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to the URL section and we'll have to visit the Square's uh, website and to set and set up, of course, an account if you don't have one already. So go here to the URL section simply and just type square. Oh, sorry, that's not square. So that's not square also. So square.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you will normally be taken to their home screen or main screen right away. Of course, if you have an account, just go to the top right corner, log in into your accounts by clicking on sign in. And if you don't, you'll have to click on get started here in the middle instead. And basically, if you don't know nothing about Square, Square, you can simply just scroll uh, through their home screen or my screen and just read some information about it, familiarize yourself, or just have a general idea about it. You can even see like uh, the reviews of other people in Tr Trustpilot. You can, uh, I don't know, see the frequently asked questions. So I'll just open those answers for you as an example if you are interested. You can pause the video and read all if you have one of those questions. And yeah, I guess that's it. So for me, I'll just go and sign in because I have an account for you. Just go and click on get started to create an account if you don't have one. So if you have an account, just click on sign in right, like me. So once you sign in, of course, you can sign in with email or phone number. And the code after that. And yeah, it'll be good to go. Of course, make sure to add your phone number for more security just in case. And yeah, what you'll need to do now is simply go and install like, uh, or first, let's just go, of course, to WooCommerce also. So go to the WooCommerce website and make sure, of course, to sign into your account again. If you don't have an account, uh, go and create one and you'll find yourself on a dashboard like this. Of course, you'll have to go, uh, not this, you'll have to go and access like your uh, plugins to initiate like the connection or to sync in your product and etc. And of course, so you will have two options. You will be able to establish the connection from Square or you'll be able to establish a connection from uh, Woo WooCommerce. So whatever you want. You can try both of them, whatever suits you, or you can see this video on whatever suits you, you can start with. So you can go, first of all, to Square, go to this left panel example, click on settings right here and click on apps or app integrations. This should take you into like this page. So make sure to cl simply click on visit app marketplace. Once you do so, you'll be taken in here, which is square app marketplace. What you'll need to type in here on the search bar is simply WooCommerce. And as you can see, you'll find the app right here. So just go and click on that. What you'll need to do now, and as you can see, build an online store synced with your impersonal business to manage one platform. So you'll be able to see the app details as an example the reviews of other people you can see what people saying about it some people as an example is not liking it as you can see in here so let's hopefully as you can see this five six years ago maybe they added some updates fixing whatever like the issues are there as you can see you'll find a lot of reviews some people are giving it five stars so i don't know and of course, simply just go and click on get started. You'll have to install it, of course, if it's not installed. And as you can see, it's free to download. So you'll have to go and download that. Of course, again, you can scroll down here and read any information that's needed if you want to. You can see again, the reviews in here again. So you can see what's included, support, requirements, what's required, first of all, and details, of course, and capabilities. The most important is requirements. If you don't have one of those requirements, you'll not be able to use it, which is an account on Square. WooCommerce 6.8 or higher version, of course, and valid certificate is required. And WooCommerce Square is currently available for US, Canada, Australia, Japan, Ireland, France, Spain, and UK. If you're outside of those, you'll not be able to use it. So here, just information about like the Square app. So click on free download as example. So once you do so, it'll be taken to the cart. Of course, it's free. So click on proceed to checkout. 
And of course, just go and fill up your informations. If you want to receive some products and promotions, etc., just check this option so you can receive it in your email. If you don't, click on just pay, as you can see. You'll have to just fill your billing address information, your address, name, etc. And yeah, no need even to uh, fill your part number or something like that. So once you're done, here is it. As you can see, thank you for order. Next, add your product to your site. So you can add that to your site right away, right now. Or you can add this, of course, once you are on WooCommerce and you'll find this on settings to add it. As simple as that. As we said, this is if you want to establish a connection from Square. If you want to establish it from WooCommerce, go here to the dashboard or go, of course, to your plugins. So go to this list panel, click on plugins in here, click on add a new plugin. This should take you into a new page. Scroll down here. Simply, you'll have to look for Square. Hit the enter button and you'll have to look for an app that will do so. So as you can see, WooCommerce Square, here's it. For me, as you can see, this plugin does not work with my version of PHP. So I will not be able to do it. But of course, you can simply, if you have the same problem, just click on learn more about updating. As example, if you click on it, oh, oh I went back. Okay, my bad. I want to really, really back. So here, just click on learn more like about this updating. Just read all of that. They'll tell you how to uh, add it or how to update it. Just go and update it. As simple as that, you'll have to follow an article. And you can come back in here. You'll find an install button like this. Just go and click on it. Once it's installed, click on activate. Once it's activated, you'll be able to uh, just customize settings however you want. As you can see, sync inventory and product data between WooCommerce and Square, which is what we want. Uh, POS security accepts payments via the Square Payments Gateway also. So more details, as you can see. If you click that, you'll be able to read the description, uh, how to install, for example, frequently asked questions, uh, change log, what they changed in the last patch, screenshots of the settings, it will be something like that, and even the reviews of other people. And yeah, like that's it. Once you install this and activate it, you'll be able to log into your Square account. Everything will be synced, your inventory will be synced, and you'll be good to go. You can now start doing your own things like uh, check the product data consistency, uh, verify like the, uh, that the product data includes like title, description, prices, and images because it might not be perfect. You know, you, you gotta check, always gotta check. So between like WooCommerce and Square, make any necessary adjustments for uh, if needed, of course. And make sure to even test the syncing functionality so we can conduct some tests, syncs between WooCommerce and Square to ensure that products are updating correctly. And test the products additions, uh, modification, and even deletion for synchronization. You can even maintain like and review the synced products. Uh, regularly make sure to review your synced products in both WooCommerce and Square and monitor for accuracy, resolve any syncing issues promptly, and maintain in like a uniform uh, uniformity across the platform. And yeah, I guess that's it. So for your order, congratulations. You've successfully synced like your WooCommerce products with your Square. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one, and I'll catch you in the next one.